Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. Unfortunately, a couple of days ago, uh, my Drake L4B amplifier ceased to operate correctly and that one of the tubes, uh, the filaments didn't light. And that can be um, uh, a bad tube, uh, a bad socket. Uh, it could be the pins that uh, come out the bottom of the tube can lose their solder because they get the, the pins got too hot and the solder melted out. A few amps I've looked at, you remove everything, you take the bottom cover off the, on the cabinet and there's solder laying on top of the uh, uh, inside of the cabinet because the solder leaked out of the out of the tube or tubes. So I'm going to take a look at that. In the meantime, I went ahead and ordered um, some tubes from uh, Penta Labs and they offer uh, matched tubes. So let's take a look at what I did to decide what, what to order and where to order, that kind of thing. Um, as far as I know, Penta is the prime supplier of 3500Zs to manufacturers and everybody else. So that's where I went. Let's go look at that and um, then we'll go through the process of removing the cover before that. Got a segue here real quick and listen fairly carefully um, and I'm not going to exaggerate what happened in about 1967 I think it was I was a senior in high school and I was building an amplifier I built a number of amplifiers over the years including the one that I currently use most of the time um, I was keying the amp and looking at the decrease in plate voltage and my left hand inadvertently touched a fragment of a wire connected to 3000 volts. Uh, this finger uh, suffered some damage and <laughs> I was leaning up against the cabinet. Fortunately, I was leaning in such a way where um, the uh, current flowed was just below my belt line. Could have been a lot worse if you get my drift. So I swept it here. The path was through here and uh, to the cabinet. I woke up across the room, uh, literally up against a door. Uh, I had been unconscious for I don't know how long. There was a smell of uh, burnt flesh and I thought, oh, it's something's wrong here. Went to lift my left arm and it was numb. I, I had no sensation in any of it. And it felt like it weighed 100 pounds. So I, I picked it up, held it like this, looked at this baby finger that's got the bend in it where uh, it touched the the um, uh, the wire, and then I noticed some smell from down here. Um, Try to take my blue jeans off because I was wearing like Levi's, and where uh, the other end of the current came out, it had uh, melted the uh, blue jeans into my skin. So there's a scar there to this day, about that big around, over here. Um, it's a pretty ugly scar. I'm not going to show you what it looks like, but it looks like I, it got burnt with something. So um, my excuse to my parents later when they found out about some of this was that it was uh, a soldering iron, which of course wasn't true. It was high voltage. If they had known it was high voltage, um, that amplifier probably would have been uh, sold off or given away. What's the point? Fortunately, it was DC. If it had been AC, I probably would have been locked into it um, until 
something happened, like I, I died or passed out or hit the floor. Instead, it threw me across, literally across the room. So unconscious, could have been a half an hour. Um, when you're working around, uh, the amp we're going to be looking at has 3,000 volts plus. It's a modified Drake L4B with a different plate transformer. My long explanation is this. Be careful. And so go to extremes. Unplug the amp from the wall. In that case, I can disconnect the power supply if the power supply is built in. Um, get the biggest screwdriver you can find and have it handy. Um, turn off everything. Look at the plate voltage meter. See that it's down to zero. Put a screwdriver across the plate cap to chassis to discharge anything that might be remaining in the capacitors. The other thing I do is uh, on that plug that was plugged into the wall, I've unplugged it. I wrap tape around it so it doesn't get plugged back in inadvertently. Um, I also take uh, an alligator clip lead that I made and I clip to the top of the plate choke uh, and to the cabinet. I form a short there. So if something were to happen, uh, it's already shorted to ground. Um, anything that you might be suspicious about, um, short it out, ground it out, uh, don't touch it. Just turning off the amp and leaving it sit for a half an hour is probably not a bad idea. But if something uh, keeps the, the capacitor, capacitors from in the power supply from discharging, that big honking screwdriver, I got one that's about that long. Uh, and the tip of it's been eaten up through arcs. Uh, touch it to ground. Touch it from the plate, top of the plate choke to ground. Uh, Go to extremes if you think there's even a remote chance mitigated. All right, let's go um, uh, remove the tubes, um, see what we can find out. Uh, oh, I want to order first. So I'm going to go ahead and order from um, Penta Labs. We'll see what they have. I'm going to go ahead and place the order. So here we go. Uh, let's look at uh, the website. And then we'll go to removing the uh, the tubes and what I did there. <clears throat> 